Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a Super Tarts haul. I hope you guys all had an amazing holiday season. I really enjoy watching my daughter open her gifts. Like that's like my favorite part of Christmas for me is just watching her be happy. She is so like, I don't wanna like toot my own horn or whatever, but she's like super sweet and she is so gracious. Like if you get her one gift or 10 gifts, every year it's the best day ever. That's what she says every single year, best day ever. And she's like politi politically correct. Even if she doesn't like necessarily like what you got her, she will still be like totally gracious and be like, oh my gosh, I love this, you know, or whatever. She, yeah, she's funny like that. But she also, this is also the first year that I got a gift from her because she has her own checking account. She went on Amazon all by herself and got me a Professor Snape shirt. <laughs> and if you guys know my love for Harry Potter, you guys will totally understand. She was so excited to give it to me and I told her it was the best gift ever. So that worked out really well. So I hope you guys are all doing well. This is a Super Tarts haul from two weeks ago when Brandy released the Christmas scents, like the first, no, not the first round. She released them all at once, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because this last week was Once Upon a Time is what she released. So I picked up just a small portion of the Christmas scents. I don't know why I didn't pick up more. I was kind of trying to be like, okay, calm yourself down and just get the ones you really think you'll like. And then when I made my second order for the Once Upon a Time scents, which you'll see in a couple days, I got more of the Christmas scents. Now the Once Upon a Time, I only picked up, I've smelled pretty much all of those scents and I only really like two. And that's Mr. Gold and I already have Mr. Gold and then also the Fairy Dust. I love Fairy Dust, so I grabbed that one. But the rest of the scents, I can live without them. I don't need them all the time. I know a lot of people like Swan. Oh gosh, sorry, I have to, my tripod went crazy on me and broke, so I have to be super careful. So the sample is Predator and this is Cappuccino and Coconut Cream Pie. There we go. I just did a, well, I, I didn't do a warm review yet, but it's in my pile for warm reviews. This one I really liked. I don't like it on cold. It smells very bitter, but once you get it warmed up, it goes into like this creamy coffee. My friend Candy and I think a few of my other people that I kind of like text on a regular basis will be glad to see that I got my P.F. Chang's because I've been talking about it for like a month. I'm like, all I need is my P.F. Chang's. I missed that on the BAM bag pre-order. So I grabbed four to kind of make it a BAM bag size. But I feel like I've talked about this scent over and over. That's the scent notes. I'm not gonna go into it. But this is just a great bakery scent. It's a little bready, but not overly bready. When you put it on, it just smells like you've been baking something really delicious all day. So yeah, that's the most I've ever purchased of one scent is in four clams. So yeah, I don't normally have that many clams sitting around. I usually wouldn't purchase that much, but I didn't want to be without it again. Miracle on 34th is one I needed two of. I don't usually do that either, but... Oh, that almost looks like a Wax Wednesday mark on there. I didn't buy these on Wax Wednesday, but it looks like the black mark across. Oh, it's just the branch. It's a branch on the Miracle on 34th Street. Okay. <laughs> I was like, hey, I paid full price for these. <laughs> this is fresh fallen leaves and creamy pumpkin pie with toasted marshmallows. So this one to me is like a cousin of Mr. Myers. The only thing it's missing is that masculine, like earthy note in Mr. Myers. This is more of like a bakery, creamy, earthy. It's just really good. I really love this scent. This is one that I will try to warm through the, before the winter is over. This next one is Adam's Family. There was two left on the site and I kept hoping. I was like, oh, let me get both of them, but I only grab, was able to grab one. Salted caramel, buttery pie crust, and pumpkin cupcakes. This one on cold does not smell that great but on warm, it smells amazing. Everyone in my house is like, oh my gosh, what is that? That smells great. This one was like a surprise sleeper favorite. The salted caramel is not as heavy as you would think. Sometimes caramel scents can get really heavy, but this is just a really good bakery scent. The next one was part of the Advent this year. I didn't get the Advent, but this is Abominable 
This is mistletoe, buttermint candies, and vanilla bean champagne. And that's what it looks like on the inside. This one smells pretty good. I know a lot of people like this one from the advent. I'll have to warm it to see what happens. But it's mostly buttermint. I can smell the mistletoe. Vanilla bean champagne is kind of hard to detect. It's kind of like vanilla bean Noel to me. I don't like regular champagne scents, so it's not that gross champagne that Brandy does in one of her other scents because I've had it and it was champagne and something else. And oh my God, I hated that scent. Hated regular champagne. The Rockettes. This is marshmallow, macchiato, chocolate chip cookies. Now this is one that I was like debating on. I'm like, oh gosh, I'm gonna get this one and I'm gonna freaking hate it. I don't like Brandy's marshmallow, but I'm happy to say I don't smell her Play-Doh marshmallow in there. This one is super cute. This one is really good. You smell, I don't know what that is. I've never had a chocolate chip cookie scent before, so I wonder if, uh, is it Haymitch that has kind of these same scent notes? I wonder if Haymitch smells this good. I might need to pick that up next time. This is just really good. I don't know what to say. Like, I don't, I'm not really sure what I'm smelling. Oh, that one, if you like bakery, I would say try that one for sure. So that's Rockettes. And then the last one I got is Bishop's Wife, which it which is Twisted Peppermint, Driftwood, and Vanilla Bean Noel. So that one sounded good to me. That one's super cute on the inside there. And I'm sorry guys, it's super early in the morning so the lighting is not all the best. Hopefully it'll be okay. So I smell the Twisted Peppermint, and it's probably toned down a bit by the Vanilla Bean Noel. Driftwood, I'm I have Driftwood in another clamshell. I'm trying to figure out if I smell that or not. Maybe some of you guys that had the Advent <clears throat> calendars can come comment on some of these, how you feel about them on warm, but this one smells pr uh, pretty good on cold. So yeah, that's just my small order. I just did the, yeah, I did the 10 clams. For the padded flat rate. I try not to go over 10 clams because I feel like I really don't need any more than 10. My goal is just to try to really get things under control this year. I, I start to feel out of control when I have an abundance of clams and I really, you know, a lot of the things I really like and I, I just, I want to warm them, but you, it, when you have so much to select or choose from, it's just like you get overwhelmed and you're just like, what do I want to warm today? You know, and you just can't ever decide. So hopefully I can really start warming through some things, which I think I've been doing a pretty good job of doing, but I really want to kind of tone it down this year and get my collection under control. Not that it's really out of control. I don't think I, I try to de stash on a regular basis. So, you know, things that I know I'm not going to warm. I had another idea and I don't know, I'm not sure how well this will go over, but I'm thinking about having a monthly like de stash where I just, if I keep passing things over, I'm just gonna put them in a padded flat rate envelope and then maybe just shoot a video and say, here's what's in the padded flat rate envelope and make it like 25 or $30 shipped depending on what's in there. And just good keeping wax always like going out, you know, so that I can, like I have, I have a few things like I have some rose girls and I have a few super tarts. I have some bathing garden, like those kind of things that I just keep like passing over every time. And I'm just like, if I keep passing over it and I'm not going to warm it, why am I hanging on to it? You know? So yeah, I need to get that figured out. <laughs> okay. That was rambling. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you got any of the new Christmas scents, I'd love to know which ones. And if you have any favorites, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys always so much for watching. I will talk to you later. Okay, bye guys.